No matter how cautiously you live, there is no escaping the fatal clutches of old age. So then, better to join the fray and fight proudly for something worth obtaining. Here is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. I would rather be ruled by a man capable of ruthlessness than by a fool and a coward. We choose our own destiny. A man does not become a hero by virtue of his birthright, only by his actions. Better to fight and fall than to live without hope. There is more honor in accumulating little by little than in reaching for the sky and ending up flat on your face. It is better to stand and fight. If you run, you'll only die tired. As one candle can light another, so too can greatness of mind be transferred amongst men. To remain in solitude is to deprive oneself of this kindling. When fear leads the way, the destination is never glorious. No one is a total fool if he knows when to hold his tongue. The foolish man thinks he will live forever if he keeps away from fighting, but old age won't grant him a truce, even if the spears do. A man is not wealthy because he has riches, but because he has valor. Fear not death, for the hour of your doom is set, and none may escape it. I always believe that death is a fate far better than life, for you will be reunited with lost loved ones. Cold is little comfort for the kinsman dead. Old friends are the last to break away. A sore age, a wind age, a wolf age, no longer is there mercy among men. Give kind heed to the dead, sick dead, see dead, or were dead. Treat their bodies with respect and see that they are late to rest with respect. Be a person of worldly intelligence. If you desire to sit with kings, the man who only carries the limited scope of his village will be a laughing stock. Even in the sheath the sword must be sharp, so too must the mind and the spirit be within the body. A person should not agree to date to what he will regret tomorrow. Where you recognize evil, speak out against it, and give no truces to your enemies. When truth and fairness are different from what is law, better it is to follow truth and fairness. It is an old custom for the wisest to give way. One should not ask more than would be thought fitting. When faring on journeys, ward yourself well. Take not harbor near the highway, for thereby dwell many a whites for man's bewilderment. Best it is for man's words to seek peace when it is possible. Take care of your speech. It can be the catalyst for many needless problems. You never know who could be lending an ear to your ramblings. 
often is their regret for saying too much, and seldom regret for saying too little.